Hello, hello, hello. Hope you guys are having a marvelous Monday. Taking a moment to take a sip of tea. <clears throat> or coffee or whatever your choice of beverage is. I'm sure many of you are getting ready for your lunch time. So let's take a little moment to learn a little bit during our lunch time and to be motivated, right? So <clears throat> this month, um, Anybody who is on my team who has started this oils journey with me knows that um, Mel Luca is our free oil of the month, which is super, super cool and exciting. So I'm going to really be able to talk to you a little bit about Mel Luca um, and to understand the not only the physical support and benefits to Mel Luca, but as well as the um, the emotional support and benefits. So a lot of people may think of Melaleuca and wonder well, what exactly is that essential oil. Hey Tina, it's so great to see you. Well, I get to s not really see you, you get to see me. <laughs> but thank you so very much for joining. Um, so Melaleuca, also AKA known as tea tree oil. So there's lots for us to be able to learn and talk about um, uh, to just take a real quick, you know, bite-sized moment during our lunchtime. Um, <clears throat> So I want you to think about things, and today I want us to focus on what are we passionate about? Um, what are you willing to move mountains for, all right? And have you been feeling kind of indecisive about some of these, these passions? Have you been feeling guilty, doubtful, victimized? Um, and I'm gonna take, out of all of those words, I'm gonna take and focus on guilty, feelings of guilt. Why do we sometimes feel responsible for situations? for things that are out of our control. So feeling guilty and responsible means that we are we are trying to take responsible for something that is not necessarily our responsibility, right? So things like, have you experienced traumas in your life? Have you experienced being a victim um, in multiple different ranges, all right? <clears throat> With a trauma, a person needs to be able to remember that they are not responsible for the person who, in, um, who inflicted pain and, and trauma on them, right? So we need to remember that we are not to feel responsible for those guilty, those guilty feelings. But it's also easier said than done, right? And the worst thing we can do for a person who's trying to heal through traumas is to tell them, oh, you shouldn't be feeling that. Because... That's what they, they've been told, you know, through their traumas of that, oh, well, you, you, you are X, Y, Z, or you shouldn't be feeling this, or, you know, this is normal, or this or that. They're being told constantly what they should or shouldn't be doing and feeling, right? And so in order to be able to truly heal and connect with, with your, your trauma and to not feel that trauma, you need to really connect with finding ways to not feel guilty. <clears throat> and this is where Melaleuca can be really super supportive. So Melaleuca can support us with helping us feel and, and to connect with our energetic boundaries, especially with feelings of codependency, of feelings of responsible and guilt um, through our victimization. You know, we, we hear about the different psychological terminologies of of uh, victims who end up connecting to their perpetrator, uh, whether they were kidnapped, whether or not they were in an ongoing um, traumatic abuse situation, um, they eventually end up becoming, um, or, or a lot of times they end up having this connection um, of feeling um, sympathetic, right, towards their, their perpetrator. And it, it's a true psychological um, uh, of, um, um, event within their mind of trying to rationalize in a way what's going on in their life, the trauma. So Melaleuca though can help us establish really healthy boundaries, especially energetic boundaries, because we're all connected energetically. We're all connected spiritually. And um, it helps us make sure that we are feeling responsible just for our part. Um, it opens ourselves up to learn from these experiences. So whether a really severe traumatic experience or just so much as simple as, you know, 
telling the neighbor a little bit more than what you meant to tell them about your personal life. And it's not that you're not wanting to be open, but maybe in that situation you weren't meant to share as much about yourself yet. Um, so ways that we can be able to really experience Melaleuca um, to receive the emotional support from it is we can apply it to our gut area, allowing us to be able to really connect with what is our gut instinct telling us about a situation. Applying it to the base of our neck, to our heart, so that we're protecting, you know, we're creating boundaries, and making sure and offering up the dark junk that might swim in our head to God, and that we're trusting Him to make sure that all things are brought new, right? So um, these are just little tidbits. Um, next week I'm going to talk a little bit more about Melaleuca as well, and I'm going to talk about um, doubtfulness. How can we overcome doubt in our lives? So I hope this was really super helpful. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely share it, spread the word, and if you are not part of my oils family, I would love to get you started to be able to learn about the physical support, the emotional support, all the ways that we are connected, mind, body, soul, spirit. So drop me a line, send me a message, whatever, um, however I can help you and support you on this beautiful journey. All right, you guys have a beautiful and blessed day and enjoy yourself. God bless.